Today we're going to explore the concept set functionality within the Atlas platform. On the left hand side you'll see a menu item called concept sets and if you select concept sets you'll be brought to a list of concept sets available to you. A concept set is an expression representing a list of concepts that can be used as a reusable component in various analyses. A concept set is given a name that you get to decide and then represents an expression uh, to identify the concepts that are going to belong to this new labeled item. Here you can see we have created multiple concept sets uh, that can be selected and explored. In this video, we'll demonstrate how a concept set uh, can be used and how to create one. We see that this first entry that has already been made is a concept set called hypertensive disorder. So I'm going to click on this record. When I click on that record, a concept set expression screen is brought up. We can see the label we've identified as hypertensive disorder is provided here. And the expression for this particular concept set is the concept hypertensive disorder. And there are a series of checkboxes. One says exclude, one says descendants, and one says mapped. You see here that the descendant concept is checked. This expression saying hypertensive disorder and all of its descendants materializes into a list of concepts that can be used in our analysis. To review which concepts are actually included by this expression, we can go to the tab called included concepts. Here we can already see that there are 139 such concepts that belong to this single concept expression, hypertension disorder, and all of its descendants. When I click on the included concepts, I will be brought to a line listing of all of the concepts that belong to this expression. The table provides me a listing of those concept IDs and concept names and associated vocabularies. I can filter and sort on the, using facets on the left-hand side or search on the top right-hand side. This screen allows us to be able to observe which concepts belonging to this hypertensive disorder concept set expression actually occur in our data. And here we can see that in addition to that concept of hypertensive disorder, that other concepts that also belong here include essential hypertension, benign hypertension, benign essential hypertension, etc. All of these represent standard concepts which be, can be used in any uh, standard analysis across the Odyssey community. However, if you are interested in understanding what source codes have mapped into these included concepts, you can review them by looking at the Included Source Codes tab. By selecting the Included Source Codes tabs, you are brought to a line listing of all concepts from the various source vocabularies that have mapped into any of those standard concepts. On the left hand side, we can see that we can filter our data based on the various facets. Here we can see one facet is the source vocabulary. So for example, if I was interested in which ICD-9 codes belong to my standard expression of hypertensive disorder, I can simply filter on that ICD-9 code list. And here I can see that there are 64 ICD-9 codes that roll up to this idea of hypertensive disorder and its descendants. Here we can see what each of those ICD-9 codes are, such as 401 essential hypertension and 401.0 malignant essential hypertension. But important to note is that this standard expression does not just represent codes in one source vocabulary like ICD-9, but we can also explore how will this concept search expression manifest if our source data were in ICD-10. And here we can see that I10 would be a code we would expect to see in ICD-10 that also rolls up to this hypertensive disorder concept set expression. Each of the source vocabularies 
uh, that exist within the OMOP standardized vocabularies are represented here so that you can understand the implications of your concept set across uh, the entire Odyssey community. I'm going to close this concept set expression by clicking the X to the right of the concept name, and I will return back to this listing. Concept sets can contain any set of concepts across any of the domains within the OMOP standardized vocabulary. So for example, we can also create a concept set expression for uh, drug classes such as ACE inhibitors. And if I select the ACE inhibitor class, we can see that this concept set expression is made up of a series of different concepts, each of the active ingredients belonging to the ACE inhibitor class. So this listing lists uh, lisinopril as an active ingredient and all descendants within the lisinopril ingredient. In total, this one expression representing 10 different ingredients in the ACE inhibitor class, in fact, represents over 20,000 different included standard concepts across the OMOP standardized vocabulary and many more included source codes to represent how to identify these drugs within the vocabularies. I'm going to close the ACE inhibitor class by clicking the X and, ident and show one more illustrative concept set expression, this time for acute myocardial infarction. When I click acute myocardial infarction, we can see this concept set expression uh, has two concepts identified. One is myocardial infarction, for which we can see the check mark is marked for descendants, meaning we want to identify all concepts that are myocardial infarction and descendants. But the first record shows a concept called old myocardial infarction. In this case, the excluded is checked. What this concept set is expressing is to identify all myocardial infarction concepts and their descendants, excluding anything that is an old myocardial infarction. This concept spread expression representing these two records manifests itself into 86 included concepts, which can be explored on the included concepts tab so that we can see all of the different levels of specificity to represent myocardial infarction. We can also identify the included source codes from various source vocabularies to see how those concepts included uh, will play out when using different source terms. So for example, the ICD-9 representation of this simple concept set expression represents all codes in the 410 series. By creating a standard library of concept sets and expressions that represent clinical terms of interest, we can reuse these entities when defining cohorts, defining features, and subpopulations for all of our standardized analyses. This includes our video describing concept sets. In the next video, we will explain how to create a new concept set using the vocabulary search. If you're interested in learning more about Atlas or anything within the Odyssey community, please check us out at odyssey.org.